What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in on today's video. We are in the barn. I want to say thank you to everybody that has purchased up pipes. Up pipes have been the biggest thing on the website that everybody has bought, it seems like. And I am doing everything I can to uh, get the product in and get the stuff welded together and get it shipped out to you guys. Um, there was a slight delay in some of the components that I used for those. So, um, but we got the components. We're going to get those welded up and get them shipped out to you guys. Thank you guys for your patience. We're growing. We're trying to figure it all out. So thank you. I also want to say thank you to our patrons. We have now we now have two patrons, um, which there is a link down in the description. Thank you guys for joining the patron um, Patreon. I'm not really sure. I'm still trying to figure that out too. Um, but thank you for for joining over there. Um, it's a huge help, and uh, we're gonna keep moving forward and plugging away. Eventually, I got some. Oh man, I got some cool things coming for the race truck. So uh, thank you guys for that. This video is gonna be all about 60 power stroke injectors. We have a factory 60 injector right here and we're gonna be tearing this thing all the way down I'm gonna be explaining exactly how these suckers work um, and what they actually do to them when they modify them like Warren diesel you know what's the difference between like a seven millimeter eight millimeter hybrid conventionals hybrids yeah we're gonna go over all of that um, I wouldn't say I'm a injector expert by any means but I know enough to be dangerous so um, yeah we're gonna kind of tear into this thing and see what the guts have to show and uh, yeah let's get started now, I realize that some of my terminology might be improper. Um, I will do my best to use the correct terminology uh, when, when I'm showing you this. Uh, this is to just kind of get a basic understanding of how these injectors work. I know a lot of you guys are probably curious about uh, what's inside of these things but are too afraid to tear them apart. There are a lot of little things, nuts and bolts and plates that can just scatter all over the place. Um, and so... Yeah, you definitely definitely want to know what you're doing. Um, I have played around and tore apart a couple of these, so um, I'm pretty aware of what's inside of these and what to expect. Um, <clears throat> and so this video is, like I said, I I've, I know enough to be dangerous, um, but excuse me for some of the terminology uh, that I have kind of screwed up. But we're gonna tear this thing apart and take a look at what's inside. So let's talk about some of the basics here first. This is a Huey style injector, Huey and style injector. Basically what that means is hydraulically electronic unit injector. Um, so basically what that means is we have our electrical obviously right here, um, but these actually fire using oil pressure. So your high pressure oil pump feeds oil to the top of these things, and then it goes down, it hits an intensifier fire piston, um, which then pushes down and eventually it squirts fuel out of the end here through a needle and we'll get into all of that once we open this thing up um, but that's kind of the basic operation oil comes in pushes down on a <clears throat> pushes down on a plunger and that pushes fuel out of your nozzle down here so now let's go ahead and get into um, we'll start right up top here so the electrical side here uh, this is actually what fires the injector this allows oil to enter in and start pressing down. This allows the oil pressure to go in. This is our solenoid, and basically what we have are two magnets. And inside of here, we have what's called a spool valve, which a lot of guys I are, I know already know about the spool valve, uh, because a spool valve is uh, usually what ends up creating stiction in these trucks. Now, when you turn your key on and you hear that injector buzz, that is the injectors firing, in a sense, and that's that spool valve clicking back and forth. And so, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pull our solenoid pack off here. And so we've got a really, really tiny bolt. So I always, you know, it's a Torx head on the one side and it's a nut on the other side. So I usually grab the nut with just a pair of pliers and then we'll break this loose. They're not overly tight. Now, one thing I want to mention before we get too carried away is we want to make sure that we keep everything orientated properly. And so what you'll notice, once we get this out, we've got the nut right here. We're gonna set that off on the left side. And then we're gonna take our bolt out right here. And you will see the bolt has a couple of washers on it. And we're gonna set that up top here as well. Now what you're gonna notice that I do, or that I like to do, is right here we have where the injector hold down bolt goes. It goes right there. 
we are gonna keep that, whenever we're working with the injector, we're gonna remind ourselves that this needs to be facing this direction, or basically, I, I, I always say it as it's facing me. So now we can pull our solenoid pack off. We're just gonna set that up there, try to keep everything orientated properly. So the next thing you're gonna see in here, this is where the spool valve is. So the spool valve moves back and forth, and this spool valve allows for oil pressure to enter our injector body. So we pull the spool valve out and you can actually see there is a, and you can actually see that there is a longer side and a shorter side over here. So you wanna make sure when you go back together that this goes back in the same way uh, that it came out or else you will have issues. And so this is probably the number one component that gets stiction. Um, and so this one is actually really war. You can actually, there's a pretty good groove inside of here. Most of them do have a groove, uh, but this one, this one's definitely pretty war. So we're just gonna set that up there. And you can see inside of here, that's where the spool valve rides. So the next thing we're gonna do is pull off these two top screws. There's one here. There's one here. Now these two top screws, there is going to be pressure behind them. There is a spring that holds down on the plunger. Sometimes you can just do that by hand and other times you gotta kinda hold this thing. So we'll get those two broke loose. We'll go ahead and pull them off. And again, we're paying attention to where our injector hold down is. So once we have our two bolts out, now we can pull this off. That's our spool valve body, if you will. You can see there is a seal down here. We're gonna set that off to the side. And the next thing we have is we have a shim here. So we're gonna pull that shim off. And that basically just shims the spool valve body from the injector body. Um, the next thing you're gonna see here, this part right here, which is spring loaded, we can push down on that, that is our this is our intensifier piston. So you pull the intensifier piston off. We'll set that off to the side. And then we're just gonna tip it over and we're gonna pull out what's left. And what, what's inside of here is we have the, the spring, retention spring, um, which basically helps everything return back to place. We have our plunger right here. And then we also have the cap that holds it so that just like that so that holds it on top so that when we when this injector fires this can return and it creates pressure inside of the injector um, so that it can return back to rest so we're going to set that off to the side we're going to pull the cap off so the plunger goes inside of the intensifier piston oil pressure comes down and pushes on this which then on the other side of our plunger here is fuel and when that pushes down that squirts fuel into the injector body so the next thing we're going to do is separate these two pieces that way we can look at our nozzle uh, our fuel metering plates inside of here as well um, and so we're going to set this up in the vise and get it tore down so we got to put our injector body into the vise here and i wanted to show this show this really cool tool that you can actually purchase um, from Accurate Diesel up here in Michigan. Uh, this is, this little plate is awesome. But basically you see this pin inside of here, that actually goes where the injector uh, hold down part is. So we take a look here, you can see where our injector hold down and then it just slips right into place. And look at that. It will hold that injector perfectly. And now we basically just cinch this guy down into our vise here and we will be good to go. We've got a inch and a sixteenth inch wrench. We're going to stick that on here and then twist. Where it's pretty much off, we're just going to slow down and slowly lift our injector body off. Now real quick, I want to try and simplify things as far as how this injector works. So now that we have it all torn down, I can show you guys exactly how all of this works. So we start right here. We have our spool valve body. We have our spool valve. And then electronically, this spool valve is controlled. 
So the uh, the the Ficum sends power to this injector, which then allows oil to pass through and go to our intensifier piston. This intensifier piston now sees anywhere from 500 to 5,000 PSI of oil pressure. And what that does is that then travels down inside of this body and it has inside of it, it carries a plunger. And on the other side of this plunger, in this gap right here, we have fuel. That is where the fuel enters the injector body, which we can see right here through these little vents, these little screens. Once fuel enters and our plunger has, let's say 3000 PSI of oil pressure, it comes down, it sprays the fuel, which then goes through two plates right here, which has a ball bearing. And then in between the two plates is a little, little tiny plate and that meters the fuel. There is also a hole that travels the whole line of, of our fuel assembly down here, uh, which eventually ends up in our nozzle. Once that happens, it goes into the next section, the fuel does, and inside of here, this is where we have a spring and a pin. The pin is what pushes down and hits our injector needle. So this video is primarily for educational purposes so that you guys can kind of get a basic understand, understanding of how these injectors work because if you understand something, that can really help you diagnose uh, different noises, the way the truck runs, whether it runs rough or smokes a little bit, that can help you understand. All of these components are wear components. That's why it's really important to run good oil and good fuel in your truck because when these wear out, that's when you start to get that little bit of smoke. That's when you start to get that misfire uh, when it's cold. And so it's really important that you keep up on the maintenance because the, the tolerances within these injectors is absolutely insane. And so it's really important that it's getting clean oil and clean fuel to the injector. That's how you get the longest longevity out of the injector. So this video might have been kind of boring for some of you guys, but I thank you for tuning in for this entire video. We, I really appreciate it. And in the next video, we're going to be doing something a little more exciting. Uh, we're still going to be working with injectors, but we might be doing some modifications of our own to the injector to get a little more fuel out of them. So uh, stay tuned for that video. I'm super excited about that. Thank you guys for tuning in on today's video. If you're new, subscribe, like this video, leave a comment down below. We'll catch you in the next video.